Have you ever found yourself frustrated by not being able to quickly access JIRA issues from your board or backlog? If so, you're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle how to activate linking to JIRA issues directly from your cards. I completely understand how annoying it can be to click on each card just to find the issue key. It can feel like a time-consuming maze, and you're definitely not the only one feeling this way. Many users have faced similar challenges. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. One user asked, why can't I see the issue key directly on my JIRA cards? They mentioned that they have to click on each card to view the details, which is not only tedious, but also slows down their workflow. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So, what could be causing this issue? The problem often lies in the board settings and card layout configurations. We'll walk through the steps to ensure that the issue key is visible on your cards, making your workflow much smoother. And stick around. I have a fantastic tip at the end that will help you streamline your JIRA experience even further. To activate linking to JIRA issues, the user should first navigate to the board settings. This is where they can customize how issues are displayed on the board. Next, the user needs to go to the card layout section within the board settings. This is where they can add fields to the issue cards. In the card layout settings, the user should look for the option to add fields. However, if the issue key is not available, they may need to check the issue type settings. If the issue key is still not visible, the user can consider customizing the issue type screen. This may involve adding the issue key field to the screen configuration. Finally, after making these changes, the user should return to the board and refresh it. They should now see the issue key displayed on each card, allowing for direct linking. Fun fact, did you know that JIRA was originally created as a bug tracking tool? Now it's a powerhouse for project management. Just like you, it has evolved to meet user needs. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests that the links to your JIRA issues are actually there, but they might be grayed out. You can simply control click or middle click the issue ID on the right side, and it will open the issue in a new tab. Now let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests checking the issue details view of your JIRA board. This setting may allow you to configure how issues are displayed, potentially enabling direct linking to the issue from the board or backlog. Here's the pro tip I promised. Regularly review your board settings and card layouts. This simple habit can save you time and frustration in the long run. And there you have it. You should now be able to see the issue key directly on your JIRA cards. Remember, keeping your settings updated is key to a smooth workflow. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and check out our next video for even more JIRA hacks.